Today's a very exciting episode. First of all, this is Felicia's tank. As you can see, it's gone green really, really quickly. But we will be moving her today because she has some new family members, shall we say. Let's just move her over here. This box came today and it contains a little baby shrimp. And I'm telling you, there is so many. I thought there was just going to be like just a few. But I'm going to hold it up to the light now and you can see they're just swimming everywhere it's crazy so there's plenty to move in but i'm going to ditch this bowl and i'm going to upgrade it so i went to good old pound stretcher and got myself a goldfish bowl now i don't know how big the goldfish are but i think this is probably too small for a goldfish nevertheless uh, this will do fine for the brine shrimp so i'm just going to empty it and see what we've got here so inside we have a fake plant and some gravel. I am actually going to use the gravel on the fake plant because I thought, you know what, this tank needs jazzing up. So that's what I'm going to do. And for the water, I have to get some new water because I ran out of bottled water. Sticking with the cheap and cheerful theme, I got some Asda own still water. So yeah. So I'm going to wash through the gravel, wash, give this a wash round and then fill it up. situation the pump is on I've put salt in the water it looks a little bit murky but it's clearing I put the bag of shrimp in here because if I remember correctly when you have an animal you meant to put the bag in the water so they don't get thermal shock I think I haven't had anything that lives in water like this since I was like four and I had a goldfish that I called Pike and he was grey um, I think he died of an identity crisis like he literally didn't know what he was is he a goldfish is he Pike what's going on the other one was called walker and i don't know if anyone will get that connection but when we were little well we still do now we watch a lot of classic british comedy so uh yeah pike and walker there so anyway i'm gonna leave this now i don't really know how long i'm meant to leave them in there i might release them later on today i say today it's night time but it the water isn't cold and then once i add them in i will add in felicia Okay, so it's been a while. I've just turned off the pump because I didn't know whether to add them in with the pump on or not. Plus, it makes a lot of sound. So, let's quickly open this bag. Now, they're so small, I actually can't see where they are at the moment. But what I'm going to do now is add in Felicia. Now, if you're confused about sea monkeys and brine shrimp, Felicia is a hybrid. So, you know, they're related, but she's a hybrid. And she's easily recognisable because she has that black little thing on her arm. Okay, it's a few hours later and I just noticed a few eggs were actually included in the pack because they are all around this plant, all around the edge of the tank, but you can see them so clearly just floating on top. I thought that was cool. Anyway, um, oh, there's, there's one, there's a shrimp. One thing I want to say is thank you to Gabby and Austin. I just put up the other sea monkey video and they were letting me know about how to set up the pump because I did do it wrong. I'm not very good with this stuff. So thank you very much for um, giving me the tips. I'm going to be changing it very soon. But, oh look, you can see another shrimp. And there's Miss Felicia. She has just swam off. She seems to be enjoying her new house. So basically what I need to change is I need to add this into the tubing. See, I thought they just gave me two different like, ends to the tube and I was like, oh, that's very generous. But um, no, this actually needs to go in here. So I'm just gonna add this in. So the other tip was to put a towel underneath the pump and that will make it quieter. Now I don't have a towel with me but I have some spare material that I'll just put underneath it. It's currently just sitting on some DVDs. Now 
Now, this will be the ultimate test because it's currently free in the morning and I'm going to see how loud it is. I could get in a lot of trouble doing this. There are risky experiments I do for this channel. Oh, that is a lot better. Well, you know, slightly better. Oh, that is frothing a lot more now I've put that thing in the middle of it. Well, that's very good. Thank you for everyone's, um, well, Gabby and Austin's comments. They have certainly helped me out. days and unfortunately it looks like Felicia has died so yesterday I noticed she was swimming around her kind of strange and I thought it's because she was molting and having trouble actually removing that molt if you remember she has this little black mark on her just here because a molt didn't go quite right like a bit of it stayed on her she still swam around she didn't have a problem with that but I think when she went to molt again she couldn't quite get it off and I took this picture and if you look close up to her it kind of looks like there's two of her, like there's a molt around her that she can't quite get off. So maybe it's that, I'm not quite sure. She also developed a few little black spots on her too. So maybe that's what happened, I don't know. Um, earlier today she was like swimming around fine, I just came up and yeah, she was just at the bottom of the tank. So obviously she hasn't started decomposing yet. However, what I noticed is when I took a photo of her, um, the egg sac was a lot more emptier than it was before, so I don't know if she has laid eggs or that area has started decomposing. It seems like that's the first area to go. It tends to go mushy straight away. So, I don't know, maybe there's some of her eggs in there, maybe not. We do still have all the shrimp, so that's cool. There are tons and tons of them. I don't know if this is still going to be called sea monkeys, because technically I don't have any sea monkeys left. So, um, I don't know. If you think I should change the name, give me some suggestions down below. If you like the name, we'll keep it. So, sorry this has to end on a sad note. I don't know if the next episode will be in a week or in two weeks. We'll have to wait and see, see the progress, how it goes on. But I hope you've enjoyed this video before this point, And thank you very much for watching.